Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I am gonna show how to make this Burger animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So vectors from freepik.com, I will add download link and project files. First step, select this background and lock layer. Then let's create a new new object and select this all burger layers pair to this null object select this null and let's move to center press s change scale and move to here okay then select this null and delete so select this line let's zoom to object and go to pen tool let's make one line like this click selection tool and go to click fill click this icon for non fill click ok and go to stroke color let's select color like this click ok and stroke width let's change like this okay nice then select this line and delete select this shape layer change name line and go to add and select these trim parts Open trim parts 1 and change int 0. Make int shape frame. Go to 10 shape frame. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and change 100. And select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, select this shape frame, move to right and select these two shape frames. Go to click this icon for open graph editor. Select this graph, make smooth let's see okay nice so click this icon for back to shape frames and close settings then select this line and let's go to here and move to down this burger okay nice then select these layers 5 4 3 2 and 1 let's hide the layers select this layer 6 and go to here Press P, go to first second, make new position shape frame, and go to here. Let's move to up and go to fifth shape frames, move to down like this, and go to three shape frame one, two, three. Let's move to up, go to three shape frame again one, two, three move to down okay so select shape frames make easy and uh, let's see nice and select these shape frames go to graph editor and let's select this move to left and select this graph move to right let's see okay so we have problem let's solve it, it. We have problem with these three shape frames. Let's select these three shape frames. Right mouse, go to click shape frame interpolation, and change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Let's see. Okay, good. So in this time, go to here. Select this layer. Hold Shift, press S, and make sketch shape frame. Move to right and change scale 0 let's see okay select shape frames make easy and select this layer hold shift press air make rotation shape frame and go to here change rotation like this or this and go to last shape frame change rotation 1 or 2 and go to here change minus one and go to last shape frame change zero select shape frames make easy let's see okay nice so select these first two rotation shape frames go to graph editor and let's make smooth graph like this okay nice so click this icon 
and select these shape frames, Control C, and select this layer five. Go to first second, and let's enable, and let's unhide, and Control V. Let's see. Okay, so select this layer five, and press P. Select this all position shape frames. Go to here. Okay, and let's move to up. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Then select this layer five. Move to right. Let's see. Okay, very good. So select this layer four. Let's unhide. And again, Control V, and select this layer three, unhide Control V, layer two, Control V, and layer one, Control V, and let's move to right these layers. Okay, select this layer four. Let's see. Okay, press P, select all five passing key frames, and go to last key frame, and move to up. Select these other layers, move to right. Let's see. Okay, very nice. And select the layer 4, move to here. Let's see. Okay, very good. So, select this layer 3. Let's move to here. And press P. Select again all position key frames. Go to last position key frame. And when we selected all position key frames, move to up. Let's see. Okay, select this layer 3 and move to right. Okay, very good. So, select this layer 2, move to here and press P, select again position key frames, move to right and move to up this layer. And move to right this layer. Let's see. Okay, very good. So select this layer one and move to here. Press P. Select this all passing key frames again. Go to last key frame and move to up. And move to right this layer. Let's see. Okay, very good. So, in this time, let's select these all layers. Let's move to right. Okay, good. And select this background object. Let's move the anchor point down. And click selection tool, move to right. Let's see. And let's press S, click this icon, let's change scale 0, make scale key frame, go to here and change scale like this, 179, let's see. Okay, this is not good. Let's close scale key frame and select this background object, press T, go to here change opacity 0 and move to here and make opacity shape frame go to last shape frame change 100 let's see okay let's move to right again move to right okay not bad so let's select these all layers and click this icon for motion blur and click this icon for enable motion blur and let's see okay very nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck